Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Haran Choi. I am currently undergoing the USMLE journey. And if you are interested in my journey, follow along. On today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my plans for the upcoming months. It's just gonna be a chill, laid back video um, sharing with you guys what my plans are for the next few months. So basically, as all of you know, I already took my step one exam back in May but I have not gotten my scores yet. It's kind of weird because there are people who took the exam way after I did and they got their scores back. There are also a subset of people who haven't gotten their score back as well. Those people who took it um, the week I took my exam and after. So it seems like there are two groups. There are groups who got their exam scores even though they took it after the time period where the USMLE announced that there will be a score delay. Um, and there's also this other group like myself um, who haven't gotten their score backs yet, so scores back yet. And so I think I'm part of the latter group and so I don't have my score yet. So I'm expecting probably July 7, I will get my score back. So I'm just gonna be patiently waiting for my score. And as of yesterday, I took the OET exam. Yeah, I think it went pretty well. And so I'll maybe make a separate video on that for those of you who are interested in knowing how I studied for it. And so now I'm done with OET, step one exam, and the next step I need to take is the step two CK exam. And basically what my plan is to fly to the United States mid-July, so I'll be in New York, and I'll be taking the exam there because I'll be going there anyways for my US clinical experience and it's a lot cheaper to take the exam there as opposed to taking it here because as all of you know, there is an additional international surcharge if you take it outside of US or Canada. And so I decided, oh, maybe to save some money, I should just take it there any since I'm going there anyways. And so I will be taking my step two CK exam in New York. And after that, I'll be doing my US clinical experience in Brooklyn in the month of August. So for those of you who, who would like to know, I actually contacted a lot of alumni and friends who could possibly give me an option for an unpaid US clinical experience, but it was really hard to find, especially because of the pandemic. People had difficulty. I had the difficulty finding one that is for free. And so I have decided to do my US clinical experience with Brooklyn USCE. Um, you can you guys can check them out as well. So far, I have had good communication with them. And if you go onto their website, you'll be able to see all the rotations that are available that they have. They also have observership, hands-on experience. They also have tele-rotations in different fields. They have general medicine. They also have hema onco, GI, nephro, um, and the like. So... They also have in different states, um, so go check their website if you wanna if you are looking for a clinical experience, and yeah, so on the month of August I will be rotating with them, and after doing the U.S. clinical experience, um, I guess month of July and August I will be making sure that I get the letter of recommendations I need at least three of them, and then I will also work on my personal statement because I know that it will take a lot of time to edit it and make sure that it's a really really good personal statement and I will also make sure to edit my CV that I'll be submitting and also work on I guess after August and the month of September I will be working on my ARAS application I will be filling up all the sections of ERAS application because the end of September is the submission deadline. Well, it's not the deadline, but it's gonna, uh, programs will start being able to see it um, starting uh, uh, October. And so I wanna make sure, they do recommend that, make sure that all your application is complete by the time um, the programs can start viewing your application. And so that's what I'm going, going to do. Actually, for the month of September, I also have a pending rotation that I could possibly be in. So we'll see what happens to that. But most likely, I'll be working um, inten intensively on my application for residency. So wish me luck. And I am really grateful that I get to share this with you guys through this platform. Um, and thank you so much for following, following my journey. I really appreciate it. And my next goal for my for this channel is to 
reach 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of achieving that goal, me achieving that goal, then do subscribe and follow my journey and wish me all the best because this is quite scary um, sharing with everyone my journey and um, not knowing what's going to happen in the end. It's kind of scary, but I am hoping for the best and I believe that um, God will guide my journey as I go along with it with faith and perseverance and hard work. And so, yeah, that's my update. And match next year will be in March 14, 2022. I already marked it on one of my post-its right here so let's hope for the best that I get into a program and my first choice because um, I will have to submit a ranking list after I get interviews and things like that. I am estimating that I'll be submitting applications to roughly 150 programs um, because I'll be applying to internal medicine and I already kind of narrowed it down uh, to the programs that are pretty open to international medical graduates. Um, let's hope for the best and go for the dream. So wish me luck and thank you again for following me and supporting me. Yeah, that's all I have to share today and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.